order to sell art at an art fair, you have to be able to talk to your customers. If they can't hear you, it's virtually impossible to get them to walk out the door with any of your merchandise. And so what are you supposed to do if you're near a very loud music stage? So loud that you talk and no one can hear you. First off, you want to plan ahead. So before ever even going to the art fair, when you apply, request to have a booth space far away from the music. But if you can't do this and you've been put near the music or you're at a music festival, because sometimes I do music festivals and I like to be near the main stage because there's lots of booth traffic. Right now you can see just how close my booth is to the main stage at an art fair I did a couple of weekends ago. It's very close and you can see no one's coming into my booth right now because one of the big acts is on. But as soon as the act is over, my booth will flood with people because I am right by the exit of the stadium. In this situation, I like to wave to people before they come into my booth because if I'm sitting at the back of my booth and they are 10 feet in front of me thinking about coming in, they can't hear anything that I say, no matter how loud I shout. And I have vocal cord issues, so I can't shout. If I do, I'll end up losing my voice. Voice. So I have to be very careful with how loudly I project my voice. So what I've learned to do is use a personal PA. It's a really great device. You can clip it onto your belt or hip purse if you wear one of those like I do. And then you have a microphone that goes around your head and you talk into it and the speaker that is on your hip will help project your voice so people can hear them. You can turn it up quite loud. The downside to these is sometimes if you get the microphone too close to the speaker, it will let out a really loud screeching noise and that will drive people away from your booth really quick. So you have to be careful with it if you're using one. But for me, since I have vocal cord issues, it has been a lifesaver. This thing is so loud that if I have it on turned up all of the way and I'm sitting at the back of my art fair booth, people can hear me greet them. I can sell art. I don't have to worry about how loud the music is. Still, sometimes customers look at me strangely because there are not many other people using this type of device. And so if you don't want to use one because of that or you don't don't like the way it feels on your body because it is kind of constricting to have something wrapping around your head. You might be able to get one that just has a lapel mic, um, but having something carrying like that's a couple of pounds on your hip all day long. After a while, it might start to irritate your back or your body. So if you just don't want to wear one, the other option is to try to get as close to people as you can before you start talking with them. Basically talk really loudly into their ear. This will allow you to communicate with them, to sell your work, and hopefully being so close to the music won't ruin your sales. Because that's one thing to keep in mind. And this is why I always just request to be away from the music is being in a loud environment where you can't communicate with your potential buyers will inevitably decrease your sales from where they would be if you could talk to everybody easily because customers love conversations. They like to get to know the artist. They want to feel entertained and kind of wooed a little bit by the artist in the booth. If you're not able to talk with them as much, you can't entertain them as much. And so because of this, you can't use any of the sales tactics that you've learned to try to close the sale and get them to purchase your work. All of these factors are things that could decrease your sales and make them lower than you want them to be at an art fair. And make sure to check the description because my art fair supply list is down there. It's completely free and it's gonna help you save money on setting up your art fair booth. Next, watch this video for some of my best art fair tips. All right, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.